mentioned Star Wars. Yeah. And that's, and, and I think I posted something earlier today from someone else, and that to me it was the funniest thing ever. Most people are preparing for Christmas time in December. I'm preparing for Star Wars. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it, I've been saying it all, all this year. This is the 800 pound gorilla yeah. sitting there. Yes. Look, I'm happy that Universal is the number one studio this year with all the money they made. They got the number one movie with Jurassic World. I'm happy for them. But guess what? Move over. Yep. Move over. Because <laughs> you're about to get left. I mean, this film could very well end up making about a billion and a half easy. Now, Sandy, you're a huge movie person. Um, well, advanced tickets went on sale for Star Wars and crashed the system in 88 seconds. Right. Six right. I mean, that- five million just for the IMAX, which broke. Which tripled, if not quadrupled, the record for the top seller for IMAX, which was the Hunger Games before that, which only did a million and, and something. And Fanatics and the Fan is actually going to be there in Branson uh, that weekend. Yeah. Uh, and Star Wars? Star Wars. Star Wars, Vision Con, Fanatics and the Fan, and Xbox One. All of us? All of us. In the same clown car? In the same clown car. Woohoo! Road trip! I, I will even be in costume. <laughs> well, I guess I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, if you haven't heard, uh, uh, and I've been hinting at it a little bit, the next in the fan again. Last year we gave away a PS4, two of them actually, and it was yeah. big fun, right, Keith? It was big, big fun. It was so, it was so big. Even Bigfoot said that's big fun. This year we're doing an Xbox One Division Con, and we're starting our giveaway in in uh, December yeah. at, at that event. Um, which, come on, there's just no way we're not gonna have fun. Well, I always, yeah, yeah. This look, people. You want an Xbox One? We got an Xbox One. All you got to do is listen and enter and enjoy. And if you want to, maybe do his laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in a couple of weeks, the first chance for you to sign up for that Xbox One, uh, we're going to be at IMAX for the Hunger Games. My son, a lot of book readers, Larry, you're a book reader. A lot of book readers said that uh, Sandy, you're a book reader too, but you're just a girl. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That brings up a different yeah, discussion. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> one, man. So we're heading into the last one, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, the book readers have, have been pissed up until now. Uh, the first one's been fine, but up until now they've been pissed. Now are we getting ready to be happy again? Am I correct in this, book readers? It. I have liked the series. They haven't totally followed the books, but it hasn't deviated enough where it's pissed me off at all. So basically, they haven't gone Fantastic Four. Either. Exactly. So basically, okay. it's, the young, it's the youngsters that mm-hmm. they're upset. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I've got a 14-year-old daughter, and she loves the books. She's enjoyed the movies. Actually, she loves the movies, but she her, she's always complaining we're watching something. She'll have to pause it and tell me what I'm missing. <laughs> and I'm like, exactly. uh, all right. and that's okay, because I think of Harry Potter. Because Harry Potter did the same thing. There's no way to get everything that's in a book crammed into a movie. Yeah. Even if you break it into two or three pieces, there's just no way to do that. You can't develop the kind of plot that you can in a book that quickly. But this one is supposed to be a name. It is. It and is. Now, mind especially... you, the last two, I thought, were just... That's the last one. last one was abysmal to me. Especially the book series. A lot of what happens in the book series happens in Katniss's head. It's her own voice talking mm-hmm. to herself. You can't do that for a movie. You it's have to. Like Dune. <laughs> Seriously, it's kind of like Dune. Right? Yeah, you, know, you can't. There has to be some kind of action. It can't be all just a monologue with her talking. So That's it's right. actually not going to be exactly like the books. I look I, box office wise. This has just been an amazing run. I mean, between the Hunger Games and Harry Potter, young adult fiction mm-hmm. books being turned into movies. I mean, Hollywood it's, has a Hollywood has gone nuts. I actually recently, I thought this one was called Wire As. I recently uh, watched I Am Number Four, which should have been, should have been an amazing series. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the first movie, though, was hard. I think it was, I think that to me, the part, part, part about that was the, the first story was very hard to tell. It was a, lot it was a very good story, though. It was well filmed, well acted. The first film did very well as far as being With entertaining. The amount of information they had to shove in that first yeah, movie. Yeah, that's always difficult. The people couldn't get behind it. And that was, first of all, Timothy Elder. Come on. Come on. Even though I, even though I would have loved him to use him later, it's Timothy Elder. He's awesome. And, 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 yes. <laughs> He's awesome. And, 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 and they killed him. And if they just saved him for later, 
It would have been fine. I, I don't know if there was. A, I don't know if there was. A, I, I am number four, otherwise known as a better version of Jupiter Ascending. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a monster. Version of Jupiter. Okay, Still Jupiter Ascending. Channing Tatum. Only reason to watch it. Sorry, <laughs> that movie was actually the storytelling in that movie was just. All they over were us. trying to tell us. It was like listening to someone explain calculus. It was so bad. But, but it's a pretty movie. It is a, it is, yeah, it is a pretty movie. It's, a pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty filmed movie. very well. I mean, it depends on what you want from a movie. Yeah. Yeah. A movie. <laughs> uh, well, if you want plot, that may not be the movie for you. Channing which, Tatum. Uh, 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 first trailer for the uh, World of Warcraft movie. Now, if you're a World of Warcraft yep. player, I am an original Warcraft player. I have played World of Warcraft. I spent several years playing World of Warcraft. I've since moved on. Uh, but come on. You still got to be excited for this movie, right? Uh, you know what? I'm just hoping a lot of people that were just killing this film after San Diego, uh, now that they've had more time to work on it. I mean, this, this movie's still a couple of months away. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I saw that, uh, I saw some of the, Photos taken of that first trailer from San Diego. I can understand why people were upset. Uh, this movie's a little closer, but it still kind of sort of looks like the game. So uh, I'm expecting these visual effects to even come further uh, by the time we get to the real final trailer before the movie comes right. out. I just so, hope the movie doesn't suck. And then, you know, that's always my big thing is please don't suck. I should well, that's what you should you say. <laughs> well, see, you know, part of the reason why you don't, you know, why, why, while you, you know, it, it comes down to talent and time. You yeah. got to give everybody enough time to put something together. So, yeah, I know you're an old time gamer. So, <laughs> old school, most definitely. Yeah, don't have time, time for it anymore. <laughs> old school, <laughs> right? Exactly, because that makes me sound old. Because I'm not old. So. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I'm really psyched for this movie. This looks like a lot of fun to me. But my expectation for it is going to be, it may not have a plot. It looks like it has a story, which that's great, but it may not have a real plot. It may use devices to get you places. I'm okay with that. It's going to be a cool, fun uh, fantasy movie. has to be better than Beastmaster. So, hey, now. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, <laughs> I've gone back and rewatched Beastmaster. I love Beastmaster. But then I went back and rewatched it and went, uh, oh. You can't watch that later. Uh, <laughs> no. Watching it, fantasy movies from the 80s, probably not the best idea. It, it at least has to be better than Super Mario Bros. Yes. Wow. By far. Or, oh, wow, you went there. Or Street Fighter. Wait, 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 wait. Did Dragon I say, Ball did I, Z. Did, did, did I say anything wrong? Just, no. Honestly, you know. No, you're, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I was just trying to, I, you, I was trying to never remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the key, as I was trying to say earlier, is having a really good cast. Yeah. And, and by actually, having, by having someone that won an Academy Award join the cast to your yes. film would help. And that's the big story about having Nicole Kidman join the cast of Wonder Woman. And there's so, just so much goodness that could come from that. Oh, shh, that's an understatement. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, this this really is going to be probably one of the biggest event movies out there. A lot of people have been waiting for this. And given the cast that you have so far, adding Nicole Kidman, possibly as the queen, mm -hmm. maybe as the villain. I'm excited for this film. I'm excited for all of it, but I'm excited for this movie. What do you think? You know, for me, Wonder Woman um, has, and I think you don't discuss this, when, when you're taking something from someone's past and you're remaking it, something iconic in there. Whoa, 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 what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you remaking? To me, uh, I have a Wonder Woman in my head. <laughs> uh, it's good to have a Wonder Woman and in your head. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's Linda Carter. It's Linda Carter. So everything about it. You mean Wonder Woman number two? Everything about it's got to be on a certain level. Now, mind you, Unlike Larry, I'm smart enough to not to rewatch stuff, stuff from the 80s. I know better. You mean the 70s? <laughs> Watching the 80s here, dude. <laughs> okay. The, the 70s, 1975. Uh, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. There's a long history with the character. But the thing is, is that I think it's kind of unfair to expect this movie to live up to that when you're not asking the same thing of any of the other movies that are happen to be male led. My Actually, thing is, Wonder Woman has a fantastic mythology in comics. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and like a lot of other female characters that are not getting a shot right now, it's important that Wonder Woman go off. So, to me, this is... I, this is, I have high hopes for any, everything geek-related. Right yeah. High, high hopes. Yeah. Um, 
And Wonder Woman is one of them. The other one, um, and, and the pictures were just released, and I know you've seen them. And it's a character that I'm, um, I don't know why I've always bonded with him. Because he's one of the few non-black characters I've bonded with, Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. And that movie, I really wanted to be great. You and Kevin Feige both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is no this is his character. And this he's, is he's, your, and Sandy, this is your boy Benedict. He's, it is. And, and once you cast Benedict Cumberbatch, it is going to be awesome. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. I, I love Benedict. I think he's going to crush this role. I think having him play opposite Chiwetel Ejiofor is going to be even better. <laughs> and, and, and Sandy, as you were saying, Benedict, in the, in the back of my mind, I heard. Tony somewhere going, Jason Momo. <laughs> oh, Jason. <laughs> at, least, at, least, at least, at least, you know, we, we can say elephant instead of elephant. I did say elephant. I just mm-hmm. didn't say it. Yeah. Well, because uh, Tim, cause the last thing I saw him in, you have to understand, the last thing I saw him in, I thought he was amazing and it's complete. I saw, I think I saw him play one season of Justified before I seen I Am Number One. And, to me, you mean number four? I am number four. Okay. Uh, and the character just, it just, it, it bugged me a little bit, but I still love the movie. Yeah. I loved his role in the movie. Um, and that's actually a topic that I was going to get into you. We got, and it's going to be a fun topic in the near future. Uh, can actors play roles too long? And that's another time. That's another story. Wolverine. Yes. Um, oh, did I, did I say that out loud? Back to, <laughs> I back agree. to video. Though, I agree. All of them, all of the movies we've all, we've talked about have got games coming up. Uh, is there is there a game coming up from any of these movies that you're least looking forward to? Because I know I mean I'm even looking forward to Battlefront, and I've only played one of them. Uh, X Men: The Search for a Plot. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Did I say that? I know, I know, you, I know you're a gamer. <laughs> oh, no, there's That's a lot of time in with a lot of games <laughs> stuff that you've been talking about. Well, um, you you know, anytime you get a video game based off a movie, or the opposite, a movie based off a video game, game, it's not guaranteed to be very good. In fact, it's usually not. A so, yeah. yeah, it's often a disaster. So, so for Battlefront's maybe the, gonna be great. Battlefront is gonna be great, but Battlefront's been around for a while. It's had some history with it. It's developed all the cool Star Wars games from the '90s, kind of fed up yeah. to the greatness. Um, so, I, I think that's true. I think it'll be great, but. I'm not really excited about many of the other tie-ins. I mean, I'm not excited at all well, about a Superman versus Batman tie-in because, oh, good grief! Really, <laughs> you know, I'm 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 excited about what Activision is doing by going Hollywood. You know, a Call of Duty movie. Oh my goodness, love and Call of Duty. Their, although their timing sucks because because what they're hoping for with this release this week uh, with Call of Duty is yeah. is just you know. God, this is this is like their, to me. It feels like it's their their most important release. Like the company might fail if this doesn't go well. Uh, no, it'll go well. It oh, will go. Hey, no, look, look. I, the smartest thing they can do right now is go ahead, put out a Call of Duty movie based on this upcoming game. Yes, and put Kevin Spacey in it. There you go. Now, I just I just did it for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> there's, also, there's also a Tomb Raider coming out, Fallout Four coming out. So many great video game stuff coming out. Mm-hmm. Which is, a great time to sign up and win an Xbox one. Certainly really? is. <laughs> is it that time? Five hundred dollar worth. Five hundred dollar is this is limited edition. Uh, Gears of War, great series. By yes. Right? yes. Gears of War Xbox One. Uh, first time you can sign up for it's going to be at the Mocking Mocking Jay Part Two premiere. Uh, In Branson. At the Branson IMAX. Oh wow. I won't be. Road trip. I, won't, I won't be in costume for that. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive. We can okay. dress you up I, like Katniss. I was gonna say I can see Katniss there. <laughs> yeah, you can I'm do sure it. You could. You gotta hold your finger over the mustache. Run around. Run around. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What are some of the games, upcoming games that you would just do you think are gonna be great? In the next few years, because there's so much. You know there. what? There's to me, there's only one. You know, it's Uncharted Four. I was waiting. When I you knew said, he was going to say that. When you said there's going to be one, I was thinking Highlander, but I. Don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> Ooh, that would make an excellent game. Wonder why they haven't made one yet. But uh, <laughs> Uncharted Four. Have you seen the trailers, uh, the commercials for uh, Fusion, and then the tie-in between pole, pole position? 
It's amazing, no. It's no. an amazing commercial. The sound effects are awesome. And it made me think, wow, I sucked at both. <laughs> <laughs> I was awful at that game. And I was like, did they engineer this week?